Uh, we just finished our uh, first tutorial. We've installed our cinnamon and now we're gonna change some more. We have added plank and it's going to start up next time. The same applies for the conky and we are now going to full screen mode to, in order to not to see the bottom line here. We're on Linux Mint 18.1 cinnamon and now it seems as we are on Arch cinnamon. We're gonna change this here, just saw it. I want to change it, it's quite simple, it doesn't take long. You go to your .config conky. This is the conky conf, and maybe we can change, we can take the blue one, why not? We've just made a new kind of coloring. And we name this one, I don't know, original, like so. And the conky blue, we name it the conky, like so and we have to open it save it and then let's see what happens let's put this one here so config conky conky conf right fine and then save should be happening something let's place in i'm doing something wrong Let's analyze again. So we gonna delete everything again. So you go to the config, the Eric config conky, right? And we made the original config and we changed it to conky conf. Sounds about right. So when we open it and we save it, it should change color. Okay, let's um, kill all the conkeys. And ask it again. All right, I don't know what really happened here, but that's the blue one, of course. So it's actually working. That's one thing. And actually, I want to just to show the the the, the logo. Uh, the logo is so um, wrong here. So I'm going inside. Let's zoom in a lot. Here it is Linux Mint, and I say Arch Linux. And I can say a lot of things. I can say XFCE, Solus, Debian, Antergol, Supricity, and so on. CentOS, Mate, Linux Mint, OpenSUSE, whatever. So a little, little logo just to tell, okay, I'm on my system, my preferred system. Now, Alt T is something I want. Control Alt T is available. Fine. Control Shift Escape is my GNOME terminal. Ah, it's not there. So I'm missing it. And I'm gonna go to my data, Art Cinnamon, installation. So a lot of things are, uh, scripts are here. We just ran one of those. You can install all of them, whatever you want. Extra, radio tray, you just install it. And I'm gonna go to my personal settings here. So we can have different kind of elements and I just made a little line for me so this one let's open it this one made all the folders if it's not available it will make the folders it will copy paste my bookmarks the color the color themes as well and it's going to tell screenshot to save as GPG rather than as a PNG and all the scripts I have gathered for GIMP and will gather for GIMP will be copied over. So that law sounds good, but like I said, nothing happens if you already ran it, it will just do nothing. And then the personal settings keyboard. So that's the one I want, it's display. I want every keyboard on i3 and on Linux to be the same, since when you work on i3, it's, not, it's keyboard driven and your fingers just move to it. And when you're on another system, you say, damn, I don't have that shortcut. Like uh, Windows Enter is a terminal. Nothing happens. Control Alt W is sublime text, nothing happens. So these, these shortcuts are programmed in your fingers at, at some point in time. So I'm gonna install those, run in terminal. You're asking me my password. Okay, fine. Let's try it out. This is Control W. Just close it, open it again. Control W. 
and this is Windows. Enter, and there you are. Control Alt uh, T is the terminal, two terminals behind each other, and then Control Alt F. Oops, <coughs> Firefox is not yet programmed, and Control Alt G for GIMP and control alt i let's wait for this one uh, let's make a quick tip here windows single window type done and then control alt i inscape is yes is programmed so all these little shortcuts that i use on the other distros are programmed here uh, run here and then we you have to investigate this here so this is the dump of all the icons you have to make the icons once dump them here and then you can load them back up so that's the procedure take a look at the code and and google google it sort like i did and then you'll see how to do it that's something i missed um my wife closed everything Firefox, we've done that. GIMP is in order. That is not. That's something new I've added. So Sublime Text. I'll be keeping my settings over different kind of uh, distros with me. For instance, uh, one of the settings I, I hated was that one when you reopen Sublime Text, ten files open up because those were the ten last files you had. So I'm gonna say, remember open files. No. And hot exit false these two lines make sure that if you have two lines open and you close it again and you open sublime text we can put sublime text let's do that let's put sublime text in here voila then they won't open again so at this point in time they do open so let's uh, run the installation here uh, tu -tu 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 personal settings sublime if we're gonna run this like so let's take a look uh, control h in the dot config file in sublime text in packages in user these two were copied there and what's the effect of this copy that these user files will be used and i had hoped they were gone but they're still there question is are they compatible or not maybe they're not let's try again so when you have something open like this and you close it up you close the program and you reopen it well it isn't there so that's the idea don't remember the open programs of open texts so you start up with a, a, from uh, with a clean screen and open whatever you want um, I do think I have explained a lot of things already so installation okay Like I said, if you have a uh, Bluetooth headset, you should run this one as well. There is an issue with the Sublime Text sometimes. When you open Sublime Text, the icon stays, uh, the old icon. And I've just made a little fix to delete all these icons, the old icon. So it has to take the new icon you uh, decide to use. What I haven't shown in any of my tutorials until yet is that there are also other kind of icons, the surfing icons, which I'm always, well, using when I want to change a bit because these are not so strict. The icons can be anything, very colorful and not so strict as Sardi. And um, I can always, and that's something I wanted to show you as well, this here the toolbar you can right mouse click it there we go panel settings I find it a little bit too small and I make it a bit bigger the panel like so 
something like that and there we go so this will be the size for my panel and that's that so that's the surfing icons that's this one and in the awesome font uh, you use it for special icons for i3 we are using it to make the status bar and i guess i leave it up to you to take a look at the rest of the scripts there might be something interesting some of you have uh, told me on google already oh, i like your uh, your colorful terminal this is because of this little program install zsh if you run this one let's maybe run it like this so you see what happens install zsh what it's going to do it's actually in a different kind of, of uh, shell a different kind of instead of bash you're using zsh some of the programs are uh, well not need to have nice to have command not found if you're typing a command it'll, it'll tell you maybe you meant this or is this that uh, what you is this what you want and uh, correction and stuff like that so the zsh is something special you have to tell yourself at the end to run it to run it and to use the zsh let's open it because it's still running by that i mean i end the program by making a big announcement don't forget to do this you have to do manually sudo change your shell the username is eric in my case minus s slash bin slash s z s h so tell them to use z s h if you don't tell them to use it nothing will happen and not straight away so when you do this you have to log off and log on or reboot and then you'll have this as zsh and you have this line telling you what team you're using and in the meantime voila let's do it so you can see what you should do change the shell for eric minus s which shell the zsh changing shell for eric thanks so let's take a look remember how the terminal looked all t is working all t is the variety delete this trash this wallpaper trash this wallpaper okay i like this one and then we're gonna log out of uh, log off better log out log off okay we're back on mdm so this is the look standard look of mdm should do something about it it's a bit nicer um and let's go and log on And um, let's go to Control Alt T or Windows Enter. Both work. And there you see I have this random theme. So we use now the TJ Kurtz mod, whatever. Again, Windows Enter. Another kind of look. It's going, it's doubling over one another. Let's leave this one. I don't like that one. Oh, that's a nice one. Except for the color. Windows enter, Windows enter, Windows enter, Windows enter. So each time I use my terminal, and you are so much in your terminal, then you have a new theme, and then some of them you don't like, and some of them you do like. So this is at the ZSH or oh, oh my ZSH, which was uh, supplying us all these themes. I think I'm at the end of my tutorial. Um, I would say enjoy Arch Cinnamon and um, enjoy Linux. Getting back out of VirtualBox is down here, full screen, and then stopping. Bye.